Today's podcast looks at the ballad The Two Sisters, also known as The Cruel Sister, a dark tale of jealousy and thoughtless murder, and in early versions, supernatural revenge. Along the way, we'll look at the ballad known as The Berkshire Tragedy, or The Witham Miller. I will look at the printing and collection history and sing some of the tunes associated with the song. There were two sisters sat in a bower, Binori, oh Binori. There came a night to be there were by the barney mill dams, oh Binori. He courted the eldest with glove and ring, Binori, oh Binori. But he loved the youngest above all things, by the barney mill dams, oh Binori. He courted the eldest with brooch and knife, Binori, oh Binori. But he loved the youngest above his life by the barney mill dams of Inori. The elder she was vexed, sir, Binori, oh Binori, and sore envied a sister fair by the barney mill dams of Binori. This tune and words were printed in 1882 in the Northumberland Minstrelsy. The Two Sisters, or The Cruel Sister, tells of two sisters, sometimes three sisters, who are rivals for the same suitor. He loves the younger one who is fair, rather than the elder who is dark. One day, as the two sisters pass the mill dam, the elder sister pushes her younger sister into the mill pool and refuses to help her out, despite entreaties and promises of gifts. The girl's body is eventually discovered and pulled out of the water, usually by the miller. A passing musician makes an instrument from her bones and strings out of her golden hair. When the instrument is played before the girl's family, it begins to sing a greeting to her father, then to her mother, and finally accuses the elder sister of the murder. This tale of sister jealousy and murder has captured the imagination of many singers down the year. It has drama, tragedy, and, in the early versions, supernatural revenge. It stands among the most popular of the classic ballads. Francis James Child, in English and Scottish popular ballads, tells us that the tale was just as strong in Scandinavia and Northern Europe, and that the concept of supernatural retribution of a murder appears regularly in folk songs and tales. The earliest British printing of the ballad Two Sisters was on a broadsheet dating back to the 1700s. Variations have regularly appeared in ballad collections, both in the British Isles and North America. The versions with supernatural elements are rare. They had all but disappeared by the late 19th century when there was a resurgence of interest in traditional song. There was a squire of high degree, bow down, bow down. There was a squire of high degree as the bow doth bend to me. There was a squire of high degree, he had daughters one, two, three. And I'll be true to my true love if my love will be true to me. This tune and one verse was taken down by Frank Kidson from a Mrs. Carr who lived in Moseley, New Yorkshire. It's interesting because a very similar tune and first verse was collected in Kentucky by John Jacob Niles in 1933 from a 13-year-old girl named Miss Dornia Fugate. The tune was also used for a dance. There lived an old lord in the north country, bow down. There lived an old lord in the north country, the bows they bent to me. There lived an old lord in the northern sea, he had daughters one, two, three. That'll be true, true to me love, love of me love will be true to me. A young man came a court in the bow down. A young man came a-court in the, the bows they bent to me. A young man came a-court in the, his natural choice was the young and fair. That'll be true, true to me love, love of me love will be true to me. He gave his love a gay gold ring, bow down. He gave his love a gay gold ring, the bows they bent to me. He gave his love a gay gold ring, the family thought was a sinful thing. 
That'll be true, true to me, love, love of me, love'll be true to me. The significance of the refrains used in the different versions of the two sisters was tackled by Annie Gilchrist in an article in Folk Song Journal 1930. She felt that the bow down, bow down refrain, with its counterpart, I'll be true to my true love if my love will be true to me, versions were probably linked to the original refrains. She goes on to explain the old custom of love divination that took place on St John's Eve, in which two stems of the plant called orpine, or livelong, were planted into wet clay by young girls who wanted to find out if their love was true. The two stems represented the young girl and her lover. If in the morning the stems leaned towards each other, the lover was true. But if they bent away from each other, then he was untrue. Miss Gilchrist then examined the other refrains. She suggests that the Binori Binori and the Edinburgh Edinburgh refrains of the Scottish versions of the song may well have been held over from an earlier song from which the tune was adapted. These refrains suggest communal or working song pattern, where the soloist sings a line and the refrain line is joined by others in a call and answer performance. Another type of refrain examined is Hey My Bonnie Nanio or Anio and its counterpart, and the swans swim so bonny. She suggests that this may have been adapted from another ballad, Isaac Abel and Huey the Grime, because of the allusion to a swan given in some versions of the two sisters, whilst the young girl swims about the mill pond, trying to find a way out. The Berkshire tragedy, or the Witham or Whitham Miller, is said to be based on a real event that happened in Witham near Oxford in 1744. The murderer, John Moog, was hanged at Reading. The storyline tells of a young man who works as a miller, courts a girl from Oxford, gets her pregnant, then kills her with a tree branch. He throws the body into the river. He's soon caught and condemned to death. The ballad is typical of a good night ballad of the murderer's confession. The Berkshire tragedy appeared regularly on broadsides from the late 1700s. The original broadside prints had numerous verses. There is no actual evidence that the ballad of the Berkshire tragedy was ever sung at all. It has never, as far as I can find, been collected in this form from the tradition, either as text or sung ballad. Steve Gardham, in his excellent articles published under the pen name Dung Beetle, has found a very early broadside named The Bloody Miller, published in 1683, which tells of the murder of a young woman who has become pregnant and her lover throws her in the river similar to the plot of the Berkshire tragedy. Steve goes on to show similar themes in The Bloody Miller that appear in other murder ballads, such as The Oxford Murder and The Butcher Boy. He wonders if this may be a root ballad for the other variations, including The Berkshire Tragedy. I'm inclined to agree that The Berkshire Tragedy is probably the root ballad for The Oxford Murder, rather than having it linked to The Two Sisters. Lucy Broadwood published a song under the title The Berkshire Tragedy in English County Songs in 1893. The text had originally been printed in The Scouring of the White Horse in 1857 by Thomas Hughes. The song and tune printed in the English County Songs goes like this. The miller he fetched his pole and hook with a hay down, bow down. The miller he fetched his pole and hook, he fished that fur made out of the brook. I'll be true to my love, if me love'll be true to me. O oh, Miller, I'll give thee guineas ten with a hay down, bow down. O oh, Miller, I'll give thee guineas ten, if you'll fetch me back to me father again. And I'll be true to me love, if me love'll be true to me. The Miller, he took her guineas ten with a hay down, bow down. The miller he took her guineas ten, and he pushed the fair maid in again. And I'll be true to my love, if my love'll be true to me. But this is not the song The Berkshire Tragedy, but is a later version of The Two Sisters. He might have set off a whole mistaken line of association between the two ballads. The reason for the error is due to the last verse of this version, ending with a statement... So I've ended my tale of the West Country with a hey down, bow down. So I've ended my tale of the West Country, they called it the Berkshire Tragedy. And I'll be true to my love, if my love'll be true to me. Constant revision was common in the broadside printing. 
printers tried to keep abreast of current trends and sensitivities. At some point, the Two Sisters Ballad developed a whole separate ending, which has the miller and his son, or daughter, pulling the girl out of the mill pond while still alive, stripping her of her jewels and costly clothing, then throwing her back into the pool. In some versions, they hang for the crime. This version is the one most often collected orally in Britain and North America, under the title of The Two Sisters, although sometimes it is referred to as the Berkshire Tragedy, which again adds to the confusion. This is the evolved version of The Two Sisters, and is the one that was printed in the English County Songs. The earliest recorded tunes for The Cruel Sister appeared in Minstrelsy, Ancient and Modern by William Motherwell in 1827, but had only one verse of text. William Christie recorded two tunes with full text under the titles of Binori or The Cruel Sister and The Bonnie Bowels of London. Both were printed in traditional ballad airs in 1876. Bertrand Bronson, in his The Singing Tradition of Child's Popular Ballads, tells us that the song was still in active traditional life in the 1950s, especially in those regions of the USA where play-party dancing customs had persisted. This is where the ballad forms part of a circle dance, or sometimes a play, in which the singer delivers the storyline and the audience joins in the refrain. There are many variant tunes. I would urge you to follow up this fascinating ballad, both in print and on record. You'll find it very rewarding. I will end this podcast with a full version of The Two Sisters, the tune was collected from the Scottish singer Belle Stewart. The words are collated from various sources. It was printed in 1973 under the title of The Swan Swim So Bonnie and The Scottish Folk Singer, edited by Norman Buchan and Peter Hall. There were two sisters that lived in a bower. I o oh, and so bonnie o. Oh. And there came a bonny laddie to be their wooer, And the swans they swim so bonny, o. Oh. oh, sister, oh, sister, will you come for a walk? I o oh, and so bonny, o. Oh. And I'll show you wonders afore ye come back. And the swans they swim so bonny, o. Oh. oh, sister, oh, sister, put your foot upon yon stone. Hi, o, oh, and so bonny, o. Oh. And I'll show you wonders afore we go home. And the swans they swim so bonny, o. Oh. So she put her foot upon yon stone, I o oh, and so bonny o, oh. and so slyly her sister has pushed her in the stream, and the swans they swim so bonny o. Oh. oh sister, sister, come give to me your hand, I o oh, and so bonny o. Oh. And I'll give ye my houses and half of me land, and the swans they swim so bonny o. Oh. oh sister, oh sister, ye wanna get my hand, I o oh, and so bonny o. Oh. I'll still have ye houses and all of ye land. And the swans they swim so bonny o. Sometimes she sank and sometimes she swam. I ho and so bonny o. Until she has come to the miller's mill dam. And the swans they swim so bonny o. The miller he came out and he looked into his dam. I ho and so bonny o, says here is a maid or a milk white swan, and the swans they swim so bonny o. He lifted her out and he laid her on a stone, I ho and so bonny o, and three fiddlers spied her as they walked along. 
and the swans they swim so barney o the first one of them's taken three lengths of her hair hi ho and so barney o saying this'll make me strings for a fiddle so rare and the swans they swim so barney o the second one of them has taken her finger bones i o and so barney o says this'll make the fiddle some fine fiddle pins and the swans they swim so barney o but the third one of them is taking her best bone i o and so barney o says this'll make a fiddle that'll play a tune alone and the swans they swim so barney o they pick the fiddle up and they've gone on their way hi ho and so barney o till they come to her father's castle that stood so high and the swans they swim so barney o they gaed in and they sat down to dine hi ho and so barney o when they lay the fiddle by he began to play alone and the swans they swim so barney o the first tune he played there's my father the king hi ho and so barney o and the second that he played there's my mother the queen and the swans they swim so barney o but the third that he played there's my false sister jean hi ho and so barney o and so slyly she pushed me into the running stream and the swans they swim so barney o then up and there spoke her false sister jean hi ho and so barney o we'll pay these three fiddlers and let them be gone and the swans they swim so barney o then up and there spoke it's her father the king hi ho and so barney o i'll pay these three fiddlers to play that tune again and the swans they swim so barney o they built a fire that would near burn a stone hi ho and so barney o and into the middle of it pushed her sister jean and the swans they swim so bonnie oh